guys, what's up? It's Angelina. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're starting off a new aesthetic kind of series on my channel where I'm just trying out really popular ones right now. Um, today we're doing light academia. Um, and as I'm looking at myself, I look like a freaking cupcake, but I also kind of look really cottage y which um, I should have saved this for that video, which... Okay, maybe I still will, but um, that's not what we're doing. We're not doing cottage core today. We're doing light academia. So when I first was going to do this one today, um, I originally had it as dark academia. And basically, I do want to kind of go in and tell you kind of like the background of what these aesthetics are. Um, light academia focuses on kind of like happy light um, emotions within the academia sphere. They're really into, like, classical literature artists type of things, but instead of focusing on kind of, like, the sad, maybe nostalgia of it all, um, they're kind of focusing on more of the happy stuff from the past um there has been a lot of also i am reading off my phone i'm gonna actually read you like the literal definition right now um but there has been you know just some um concerns around the dark academia and academia in general um and kind of criticisms from it which I do want to address, um, and basically this goes back, like, this is a very nostalgic kind of aesthetic, and with that, it also is kind of like old money type, and old money is typically white, um, and it was predominantly white, and it's kind of, it can also come, like, a little bit classes, um, and while I do understand that, and it is completely valid, I'm just kind of focusing more on just like the fashion aspect. That's kind of what I do on my channel. Um, where I just want to put together outfits that are a little bit different. Um, that kind of fit into this mold of what people are calling light academia. Um, so let me read you the actual kind of like definition. Um, from fandom, which is this like... I don't know, just like this website that I found. Um, I will be doing different videos within the series. My next one, I'm just gonna like give you a spoiler, is going to be Y2K. I do have some already that I have in mind, but if you have any ones that you want me to do like ASAP now or anything, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so Light Academia is an... Why did I sound like I was from like the Midwest right now? I'm from... California, LA. <laughs> so, light academia is an academic aesthetic and emotionally positive and visually lighter counterpart of dark academia. So, dark adam academia is kind of like um, blacks, dark tans, greens, um, kind of colors, which is versus light academia is kind of like more light sand, um, also tan too just kind of a lighter honey brown type of thing. Um, just kind of like neutrals, but like lighter neutrals. Um, so they talk a lot about dark academia in this. However, let's just focus on light. Light acad academia also involves an interest in literature, music, art, history, and learning in general, hence academia. Um, so this aesthetic is definitely kind of like the bookworm um, in Taylor Swift's you belong with me. You would find her at a library. Um, she would probably have a high paying job, you know, a girl that gets stuff done, um, which really fits into my Capricorn life. Um, but I also do relate to the dark academia also being a Capricorn because we tend to be a little, you know, cynical, a little, I don't know, a little bit, um, not as positive, <laughs> but just with the world right now, let's just focus on, on a little positive. So popular characteristics, popular, um, accessories, colors, things like that. Okay. Browns, creams, neutrals, off-white, beige, gray, um, burgundy, um, patterns are like tweed, 
uh, houndstooth, corduroy, uh, I would say argyle, um, silk, um, definitely kind of like old aesthetic, old money aesthetic, um, probably wearing like a Burberry trench coat with like a really cool like I don't know, like something like tights and like a really knitted sweater or something, you know, like definitely like almost what Tumblr aesthetic used to be. Like I guess the, um, not the hipster in the term of like the bright 80s kind of aesthetic, more of the like grandpa, but like grandpa with money type of vibe. Do you get me? Millennials, I'm talking to you. Um, <laughs> it's definitely that kind of vibe. Um, just like fashion always does, it recycles itself and this is just kind of what it's called right now, light academia, but we've have seen this before in the past. Um, and today I just put some outfits together. I think I put like four together that I wanted to share with you. Just kind of like my take on this aesthetic. Um, the first one is actually the most, I think, approachable, attainable, very easy to do. Um, I got my knitted black skirt. It's just kind of like a little, almost like a fit and flare skirt. Very sensible skirt. Um, and I paired it with this black, um, button-up cardigan that I can pretty much just wear as a top. It does have white buttons and a white collar. Um, I can definitely see somebody wearing like pearl, like a pearl necklace with it or something. It's very simple and just kind of like, I just put this together. This is just a sensible outfit that I'm wearing just out and about. I'm busy. I got stuff to do. I probably wear like my Prada bag that I got, my Prada vintage bag that I got with it because of that chain detailing. It gives it that like old money kind of feel. Um, I did get like these like fake glasses which again we did during like tumblr times like during like 2000 i don't know like 2010 or something remember we just like all had fake glasses well these are like super cute though and actually if i had to wear glasses i'd probably get something like this because it's so cute i love it um it's just a very basic kind of outfit it's cute i love the second outfit that i'm thinking that kind of fits in this is definitely kind of like I'm here for my internship. It's kind of giving me like, um, I scored this internship at like this publication because my dad is friends with like the somebody, the executive, <laughs> you know, one of those and I'm here for it and I dress for the part type of thing. You know, it's like not really sure what they're doing and seems kind of young and fresh and vulnerable but it's trying to look the part. So that's kind of like what I put together. And <laughs> um, I got this, it's actually from Shein and it's this ribbed little, little higher neck top um, that is actually kind of see-through, which I don't love that. Um, I did wear like a bandeau under it and I think I had like a white one, but definitely get a black one. Don't do what I did, that's not cute. Um, the thing about this top though is the insane volume that it gives on sleeves if you can tell i love a good puffy sleeve it is my favorite things and any kind of outfit is the sleeve it, what kind of sleeve is it i love it um this has a huge just volume it's pinned and sewn so it gives a lot of volume and gives a lot of dramaticness to it um it kind of gives me just kind of like like romantic vibes that like I'm a writer and I'm like romantic though like with my sleeves I don't know if that makes any sense I love it but again fitting back into kind of more of a less romantic versus a more uh academic aesthetic um I went with this like I don't even know how to call this skirt kind of like it's another knitted skirt um like a knitter, knitter, <laughs> a knitted sweater kind of skirt. Um, and it has this like black and white print pattern across it. I think it really pulls in the look together. Um, and I paired a little headband and it really did give me kind of like Blair Waldorf kind of vibes. This third outfit is like, I am going to the mall. I'm a very academic student, but I'm having some time off to go to the mall, 
with my friends type of vibe. So I did this um, zippered collared rib top. Um, it's kind of like in a sweater material. Honestly, like zippered collar stuff just gives me kind of like that aesthetic and kind of like old money kind of vibes. It kind of gives me like, do you remember when in the parent trap when, um, what is her name in the parent trap? I want to say like Corella, but she calls her Corella. It's like Corella. What is the Meredith? Meredith, the parent trap. This the mom. No, not the mom. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Um, the the dad's girlfriend. You know, stepmom, evil stepmom type. So when she's on the hike with the girl, she wears this colored polo top and collars just kind of go with like almost like a tennis vibe and the, the tennis vibe has kind of like this like old money kind of aesthetic so I just always associate with kind of like collar tops as that kind so I used my black rimmed one and then on top of it I paired my blue argyle it's like a powder blue argyle cardigan um i know you really couldn't see you just saw the blue but like i actually remember being like a little kid and like tying my sweaters around my neck which like putting it on I, it felt so weird and so like what am i doing <laughs> but i think it looked right and it also like i was just like what like i was like a little kid walking around with like my sweater tied around my neck like what did you guys do that too? Let me know in the comments if you did that too. Um, give this video a like too if you're liking this. Um, it felt a little weird, but I really thought that it made the outfit and it gave that like preppy vibe. I did put on um, those glasses again. Oh, I love those glasses. And then I paired it with this um, silk like slip skirt. It's very simple, just one like piece of cloth sewn. Um, it really doesn't have a shape to it. Um, but it's just really cute and silk is definitely a aesthetic, um, it fits the category, it fits the academic aesthetic. Um, it's really cute and just to kind of like tie it in together, I wore this brown skinny belt which I literally pair with like everything. Um, it's a lifesaver, I love it. Um, this is probably my favorite outfit from this aesthetic video. Um, let me know which one you guys like the best but... I really felt like this was like me actually getting it like I get it you know with this outfit um I think the other stuff is cute but like this outfit I get um <laughs> but there also is a last outfit and that is kind of also more simple um I really didn't want to do like everything plaid um and be super like obnoxious and kind of like obvious with the whole like academic aesthetic but I did want to throw some plaid into it and I did do my ASOS plaid skirt and it's like um darker tones so I thought that fit it perfect um it's like green and like navy blue and I think like a hint of yellow just to like you know make those colors pop and I thought it was like the perfect color palette for this aesthetic and I paired it with almost like it's almost like a take on like a school uniform outfit but I paired it with my white um, button down shirt that has ginormous sleeves. Um, like the sleeves are huge and they're long sleeve. And that definitely gave me like writer in like the garden kind of feel. Um, she's definitely a girl with like, like got up, you know, after school, she like walks around in a garden and then like writes and like does poetry. Like, in there you know and she's just super like romanticizes things and I just the second like the second half of my outfits I feel like I really started understanding what this aesthetic was um and it's honestly really cute I do see myself wearing the outfits um on occasion I'm not somebody who has like one aesthetic I wear a ton of different stuff all the time I love color I love all of it so just doing this is really fun for me um, and I, I thought this was a fun kickoff to this series. I will be doing as many videos as, um, you know, we need to get through the different aesthetics. This one was Light Academia. The next one will be Y2K. 
get ready for that. Definitely a difference between this first one and the second one. I'm really excited for it. In between, it's still going to be like hauls and stuff like that, but I'm just really excited about this new little venture we're taking um, on my channel. It's good to be back. I'm really happy to be back. I love it. Um, thank you so much for watching this. If you want to see more of me, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Angelina Montoya with two A's, just like my YouTube channel, just add another A. Um, thank you so much for watching and staying in touch. Bye guys!